Hello and welcome to a quick guide Final Cut Express video tutorial. So by now hopefully we've imported the majority of the media that we're planning on using on our project. We've either done that uh, by importing it directly from the SD card which may be via an SD card reader or directly from the video camera via an USB cord or we may have gone and imported media from other sources. So what we're now going to do is begin selecting certain parts of this media and we're going to sequence them together in our timeline and produce a rough edit. And the first thing that I do as my common practice and I'm suggesting to you is I actually create a mat just to begin my project. Now a mat is basically a generated background in Final Cut. So I'm going to go over to this little A icon and I'm going to select mat, M-A-T-T-E and I'm going to select color solid and you can see it's blue. I don't want the color blue, I actually just want it to be black. So I'm going to go up here to controls and you can see here is the little blue box. I'm just going to click on that, pull it down to the bottom so it's black, click OK and I go back to video. Now what I'm going to be using this black background for, this black mat, is just to be a basically fill a space. I want to fill about a three second space at the beginning of my project rather than my project coming up straight away on play. I want there to just be black and I want my project to fade up from black. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab three seconds of this black solid mat to put at the very beginning of my project. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select three seconds. So you can see up here in the top left hand corner of my viewer window I'm going to put a 0, 3 for 3 seconds and a 0, 3 seconds there. Now I'm just going to point out something to you here. Here you've got minutes, seconds and then these last two zeros are frames per second. Now if you remember at the very beginning of Moodle it varies depending on where you are but let's just say we're going to go 30 frames per second. 30 images are recorded per second. So this 30. If I put 30 in here, it actually goes to 4 seconds. Because the 30 isn't half a second. The 30 is actually 30 frames. 30 frames per second. So 30 is 1 second. If I put 15 in there, it's actually now four and a half seconds. That's 15. So that would be four and a half seconds. But for this purpose I only want it to be three seconds. And all I'm going to do is I now have my black background, my black match, generated in Final Cut, three seconds long. I want that to go at the very beginning of my project. So I'm going to grab it from the window, drag it down and place it into my timeline. And there it is at the beginning of my timeline. And as you can see, this is my marker. And if we go over to the left here, we can see that that marker is at through the three second mark, which means that my black mat is three seconds long. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin importing, selecting parts of my files to be in my project, sequencing them together in the timeline. So I'm going to go out to my browser window and I'm going to click on video files and I'm going to go down and I'm going to select hmm, I'm going to select perhaps clip one. I'm going to go over and let's play this at the very beginning. Three, two. Now as you can hear, you can hear another voice which is me saying three two, one. Now I definitely don't want that in my project. I don't want anyone to hear me counting down the person I'm interviewing. So I'm just going to back that up right to the beginning point of where the person's going to speak. And I'm going to put a little I which is going to stand for in point. And this little blue mark appears as my in point. Now once you've done an in point, I for in point, you need to now select your out point. So let's go to the very end. 
And as you can hear, I don't want that part. And I approve this message. I think I'm going to go for that part. So I'm going to put an O for out point. Now, you only have to, this is only a rough edit, so you only need to go and spend just a little bit of time on this, just roughly get your in point and your out point. Once you've roughly got your in point and your out point, you're gonna drag it into the timeline and place it just after my mat. And there you go. So you can see we're now at 39 seconds, which is a long time. So there we go. We've marked an in point and an out point and selected some media to now be in our project. We now can click play. We have a black background. Hi, I'm Gary Gencalvis, Danbury's Democratic candidate for mayor. Now, I actually don't like the beginning of that part. I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sound bites, which are at the bottom. This is my sound. And I'm actually going to go all the way to the next part. And I just want this part. So now I'm going to just drag this all the way over to this marker. I'm proud to be a second generation Dan Berrien, born. And I actually now want that to be the beginning of my project. Now I'm just going to go and drag this back to my map. So you can see that even though you're marking an in or an out point up in the viewer window, when it comes in down into the timeline, you have the ability to still change that in or out point. So you don't have to worry. All the way through this project, you have the ability to continue to manipulate the clips how you see fit. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to continue my selections and put my media together. 